I'm Kelsey, welcome to Everything Dolls. Today I'm starting a new series on my channel, Fixing Dolls That Need Help. I bought this box of thrift store dolls on eBay, and today I'm going to be fixing and cleaning up some of them. Some of you may remember my old thrift store hauls and custom doll makeover transformation videos. So this new series is kind of like a combination of them both. Real quick, I put this pink tape only on the dolls that didn't come with outfits. I only do this and try to make them look cute at least because YouTube rules. There are many dolls in this lot, and today I'm going to be fixing nine of them. First up, we have this collector Barbie. Besides a few face stains, she is in great condition. The Barbie basic dolls are actually kind of rare, so getting her in this lot was really awesome. This is another rare doll. She is Trishel from the Barbie Sew in Style line. I'm not sure which collection she's from, so if anybody knows, help me out in the comments. She is missing a little lip paint, and that's about it. Here is the main character of this video. So this is Rusty Ryan. As you can see, his face has a nice layer of rust. His pants in the back are tragically ripped, and he's wearing a shirt that says Ken. Ryan will be getting a hair and outfit transformation. The next doll is a 1996 hula hair Barbie. This doll has the most beautiful hair colors, pink, orange, and yellow. Unfortunately, it is extremely dry and tangled because Kinecolon. This is a Disney Store Jasmine doll. I'm pretty sure that's dust on her arms. Honestly, I don't know, but she definitely needs help. I'm not sure who this doll is. Her head says Mattel 2006. So once again, if you can, please be sure to help me out in the comments to identify her. This girl has some serious pen ink stains. Also, her legs are very wobbly and I'm thinking she's a ballerina type of doll or something just because of her shoes. This is another collector Barbie. She has a few stains and we need to do something about that hair. Here is another Barbie Basics doll. She really only needs a hair touch up and stains to be removed as well. And this is the final doll I'll be fixing. I'm not sure who she is, but I'm thinking she may be from the early 2000s-ish. Once again, let me know if you know. The rest of the dolls in the box that I won't be fixing today are mainly just blonde Barbies. Some have dirt stains, some of them have missing hair. I kind of want to do a video where I make them all look different, so that might be a thing in the future. If you're wondering how much these dolls cost, it was about $2 each. I bought two lots, so I have another box of dolls for another time. Also in this haul was a Sharpay doll, Mary Kate or Ashley, Flynn Rider, and Nikki doll. The very first thing that I will be starting with is removing all of the face stains. Most doll face stains are just on the surface. So a lot of the times they should just come right off with soap and water, but if not, more advanced doll dermatology will be required. Starting with Rusty Ryan, I actually thought his stains were going to be worse, but all of the dirt on his face was on the surface, so everything came off very clean. The dirt on this Barbie basic doll is mainly on her chin, nose, forehead, and cheeks. There's a couple of green stains on her forehead that are below the surface, so she will need the acne cream treatment on those spots. These three had mild surface stains. It all easily came off, and I cleaned and removed the random dust off of Jasmine's arms. This doll has the most severe stain case of all of the dolls. It looks like she also had a little bit of red crayon on her, but the pen marks are just seeped and soaked into her plastic. 
So she will need advanced doll dermatology with the acne cream. This is the acne cream I will be using on these dolls. The most important ingredient is the 10% benzoyl peroxide. After applying it to the stains, I keep the dolls in direct sunlight for a few days. Back to Rusty Ryan. I'll be giving him a partial reroute, and I'll be using this hair that I saved from a previous doll that I rerouted. So I'm cutting off the old hair, removing it from the inside, and rerouting in the new hair. I'm going to be using him as my Ryan in my Life with Barbie series. I want him to have a certain type of hairstyle and look, and this double of him will be perfect to use. But basically, I'm going to give his hair in the front a new little bang or fringe. I kind of want to give him more hairstyles, so if you want to see another Ryan makeover video, let me know. I also used a little hair gel, and this is the result. After I fix up all of the other dolls, I'll give him a new outfit. To make all of the dolls' hair soft and smooth again, all I'm using is conditioner and water. Everyone has their own preference on restoring doll hair. I know some people use dish soap, fabric softener. I've tried many methods, and my favorite is to just use conditioner only. The comb should be able to run smoothly through the hair, and when you rinse it out, it is so soft. I decided that I wanted to give this doll a reroute, so I'm rerouting her with this nylon hair called Midnight Blue from the Doll Planet Hair on Etsy. Her old hair was actually stuck and wrapped around her earrings. If this doll would have come with her original outfit, I think I definitely would have just restored her hair rather than rerouting. Barbies that have the side eyes are one of my favorites, and I just think this hair color also matches her eyes. These two have been in the sunlight for about four days, so let's see the results. Unfortunately, the stains did not completely fade on her face. I'm going to finish the rest of her makeover, but she's actually going to need a few more weeks in the sun. So I'll be sure to give you guys an update on her progress. Her stains were not that bad, and they ended up fading completely. I cleaned up their hair as well with some water and conditioner. For outfits, I gave Ryan this white and black jacket, new pants, and these extra shoes I had from one of my BTS dolls. Here is his before and after. He's definitely not rusty anymore. For Trichelle, I fixed her missing lip paint, and I restyled her hair part. I also gave her a made-to-move body, a dark red sweater to match her lip color, and gold earrings. I think she is absolutely beautiful, and I'm just really glad to have another So In Style doll in my collection. I gave Leah this blue Fashion Avenue nightgown with robe. I thought it would look good with her eyeshadow, but I'm not really sure now how I feel about it. I'll probably give her another outfit, but I am really happy she is in complete good condition now. I didn't give this doll a new outfit, but I styled her hair into a lower ponytail. Much better than her before. Again, I'll keep you updated on her treatment. I gave this doll a blue dress from the Etsy shop Ellen Priv, and I restyled her hair. For this Barbie basic doll, I gave her a hot pink doll suit from Ellen Priv. I really don't have that many dolls with short hair, and I just think she is so gorgeous. I gave this doll a dress from one of my Barbie look dolls. I really love how she turned out. I do need to find her a better made-to-move body match. I gave Hula Hair Barbie a pink and yellow swimsuit and a flower lay. Her hair was pretty bad before, 
And now it is nice and smooth. I gave Jasmine this blue dress that I bought from Dollsy Doll on Etsy. I'm thinking about giving her a reroute, but she is a lot better now than her before. Obviously, they are not all collectively styled, but I'm really glad I was able to fix all of them. I need your help on deciding who I should fix next. In one of my old thrift store hauls, I got this doll who I called Super Glue Cinderella. We've got Super Glue Cinderella on our hands. What? Basically, her head is super glued onto her body, and I have yet to fix her. I have another doll in this box. She is a 12 inch doll. Obviously, something happened. Comment down below if you would like to see Super Glue Cinderella or the mystery doll fixed next. Thanks for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.